um i'm gonna be making this video because i'm i'm not gonna lie the tutorial does teach you how to do certain things but it doesn't teach you a lot of things and to be honest the main way to learn is by playing the game but i'm gonna make it a whole lot easier and show you guys how to play your roles efficiently so i'm gonna be going over l first because what l does really affects the game the most honestly or whatever l does like the whole game kind of focuses around l and the investigators really need to play off l and l is the most probably the most important character if you have a good l cure is pretty easy to catch and um yeah that's basically it i'm gonna get into l right now and i'm gonna show you guys how to play him correctly okay quick entry from like me editing this uh i'm gonna be showing gameplay don't worry but uh i'm just gonna give you guys a quick rundown because i just realized i didn't really explain like a very summarized version of what you're supposed to do in a game so the ways you win is if you're l or an investigators what you got to do is either get the task bar filled by doing tasks or find kira and then if you're kira or kira's follower you have to either kill l or do your tasks and there's actually a third way to win is kill literally everyone but l and then basically you got the win in the bag so yeah i'm gonna continue with the video Okay, so as L, you really just want to clear up as much people for being investigators as much as possible and try to get that task bar to max and also catch a killer. So basically, the thing is, uh, um, when you're L, you never want to get close to anyone. If you get the mission where you have to actually investigate someone, that which meaning like you have to actually go to them and check their character out, do not do it. Never do any like mission that either has your screen blocked or you have to get near somebody because as L, you always have to keep your key card safe. This is somewhat of a double-edged sword because if they see that you're the only person not getting close to anybody, they know that you might be L. But that also works in your favor because if you never get close to anyone and there's some guy that's really trying to get close to you, then you that that will throw sus on them. So as L, your abilities are to use your command cards. This is by far one of the most useful things in the game, if not the most useful thing in the game. For investigators so basically what you want to do is activate this you want to activate this like first thing in the game so right there is going to be on the top right you could stay near this if you want the only thing uh like i want to suggest is because this could turn on you but you want to stay near it because if there's a um kira or a kira follower they are not going to be able to see this mission so they're not going to be heading towards it or they could be new and not know what this does so if you guys don't know okay so Okay, so the reason why that is so important and that ability is so strong, that command card, is because if you if any of the investigators go in there and take it, that will clear them for the rest of the game. It will tell everybody that they are an investigator. So what you want to do is if you're L, you want to like let that investigator, a lot of people don't do this. If you see that investigator, try to take him somewhere private and tell him that you're L. Because that will basically make it to where you and him are cleared no matter what. And whatever, like, if anyone tries to vote you off or they, well, they can't really vote him off. You could always, like, say that, um, you know, I'm cleared because I'm L and I told him. But that, that could work, you know, against you. But you could be like, oh, I was with him the whole time and there's no, like, he, my card stole here. He couldn't have taken anyone's card and just give him so many alibis as much as possible and that's someone you could trust for the whole game so that's why it's really good because you already like solidified having a two-man towards the end of the game so as long as you could get a third person you could trust no matter what if you get all the way to end game you basically are cleared and you can most likely vote out kira like the ways you could catch kira with l there isn't many ways to catch kira with l because the thing is that when you're playing l you really never want to be close to kira or killer's follower but, like I said, you're not going to want to get close to anyone. And if anyone does try to get close to you, or they're like, oh, I have to search your character, or oh, I have to get near your character, well, like, sometimes it could be valid. I didn't. I don't think I emphasize as, like, much as possible, but honestly, the command is literally the best thing, because I have been playing all day today. This is a quick entry, but, um, I, yeah, like, I'm editing. But uh, the reason why it's so good is because if someone's walking away from it, or someone's not actually, like, diving and trying to get it, that literally means that they are most likely kira i have caught so this is probably the best way to catch somebody being kira the only other excuse they could actually just give that will maybe like clear them is um they're new but that's the only excuse like if it's their first and second game because that is the thing that everybody runs to and so basically if anyone ever does get close to you you know they're most likely trying to get your key card or they might be a follower as well one other thing that you have access to that will also help the team is a joint um joint investigation you want to do this every round you have this select the investigator that you could 100 percent trust 
and someone else you think you could trust. The reason why you don't want to uh, put yourself is because you're going to be doing missions and if someone runs up on you, they could easily steal your key card. So you always want to be able to move. The only missions I suggest to do as L is literally just talk to these guys. Literally just always like talk to the green guys and that's basically it. You don't want to do any other missions. You could do this one. This one's where uh, where you go to that house. You go to a certain area on the map and you stay there and it will basically just give you uh, mission completion. So basically you just stay in the area. And that's it. That's basically what this mission's for. Okay, so as L, you are quite literally the most important role in this game. The thing is that the whole game kind of ro revolves around you. Kira and Kira's follower are racing to get your ID and write your name on the book. Because if you if you die, you obviously lose. L is the character you have to keep safe for most of the time. So my number one suggestion for L is to stay away from everyone. Don't let anyone get close to you, even if they have a mission. Even if they have the mission, where they because there's a mission that everyone has in this game, where they have to investigate you. What that means is they just got to stand next to you. So if they are Kira, they could have stolen your card. Or if you know they're actually an investigator, they, they were just getting their um, task completed. But regardless, as L, you can't trust anybody. For that exact reason, just like never let anyone get close to you. And that is my number, like literally my number one suggestion for L. Also, you don't want to do any tasks. For example, like I said, don't let anyone get close to you to investigate you. Don't investigate anyone else. If you if you get that task, just skip. There's no reason to risk your key card getting stolen because you are quite literally the most important character in this game. And if your key card stolen... They are most likely going to eventually kill you because when they get into like later game and like later game uh, and it's hard to steal cards, they're probably going to write your name down and that's going to result in your death. You guys know not to let that like that's the main thing. Don't let anyone get close to you. Don't even do events like command events. I'm going to show what that is later, but it's like it's like an event where everybody has to do the task. And if you don't do the task, uh, Kira's ta uh, new progression, basically his taskbar will go up yeah so basically you okay so basically you want to do your command card and you want your want to do the joint investigation and now my last tip is just like re like regular gameplay you always want to talk to these green people because like i said you don't want to interact with anyone you don't want to get close to literally anyone because you don't want them to get your key card and these guys could tell you if someone was like around the area using a transceiver so if you guys don't know how to check the map this is how you Okay, so for some reason, I just said this is how you check the map. If you're playing on PC, it's M. If you're playing on PS5, just look at the bottom right of the uh, screen. It's going to show you what to press to access your map. Check the map. And if you talk to those NPCs, they could tell you something like, oh, someone was talking in a transceiver between Park and Sakura TV. So that means they were like around this area. So if you see someone around this area, like, you know, during the day, they could be like p potential suspect. And it, 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 like it really it could be between the classroom and you know bookstore clothing store so that means like around here tv and hotel so that means around here or they would be like right like here so that means that the person was using their transceiver right in front of them so if someone uh like for example if someone was like right here and then they walk past you right and you're coming up like over here and you talk to it and it says somebody used a transceiver here you know may most likely that person that just walked past was kira or kira's follower and so basically when you're kira like so after like the thing is that when you talk to green npcs you're usually using that to catch kira and if you guys didn't know i should have explained this earlier but the two ways to win when you're l or the investigators is to either raise this uh taskbar to max so the way you do that is doing that uh joint task this and um talking to all the green people and doing your quest like i said don't do any, like if you're playing L, don't do any of the quests that require you to get close to anyone. So, for example, if they have to monitor you or you have to monitor them, do not do that. And then uh, mo most of the abilities come during voting, uh, the voting time. So, honestly, as L, you don't really want to focus on catching Kira that much because you're going to be staying far from everyone. What you want to do is try to get as much points on the taskbar as much as possible and try to catch someone on a surveillance cam. So, basically, what this does... Is like you're able to like just like look around so for example if someone like i know a lot of players like going over here they like going to the bottom right 
And so what you could do is just like watch someone like take their book or write something because they usually take their book out. So you could just look at these surveillance cams, see if anyone's passing, you know, uh, ID cards or like anything like that. But may, like good Kira and good Kira followers will not do it in front of like, you know, the cameras. But still, regardless, it's really good because you could see if anyone died in those areas. Okay, so... Okay, so basically the last thing I gotta say for, you know, regular phase, for example, like when I'm, when I'm here, is... Like I said, you want to do all your tasks, but one thing you could really, like, that will help a lot is use surveillance cams to check these areas. These top four, like, top right, top, uh, top right bottom left top left and then um just anywhere around like not really here but uh basically there is another mission where you set up like and um install more camps the reason why i said you really want to look at this area and like these areas is if kira kills and uh well it's not really here because this won't allow you to see in the hotel you want to stay near the hotel for a lot of the game and watch this camel up because this is the popular areas where somebody gets killed and also there's an area like right here where if Kira writes your name, you're going to die right here. So basically what you want to do is if someone dies, you want to take their, you want to take their notebook. Basically when you die, you drop your investigation uh, notebook and um, usually they have like the person that, you know, interacted with them or got close to me to them. Mark, that's what you, uh, I'm going to I'm explain that aspect of the game more when I get to investigators. So I'm not going to go in depth with it now. Now I'm going to show you guys like what you should be doing um, when you're in the voting area with L. Because L has like a lot of power, you know, when it comes to votes. Okay. So when it comes to like, you know, vote the voting phase, L does have a decent amount of uh, power that, you know, other characters don't have. So the, uh, the number one thing he does have is meeting guidance. So this is really good. Because, for example, if someone's throwing shade at somebody you like generally think is clear, you could throw shade at somebody else and have everybody focus on that player. So, for example, you press that and it says, you know, dummy four seems suspic uh, suspicious. So this is just really good to get, you know, the voting air like voting phase in check because a lot of people here start screaming for some reason. So you could do this to make everyone shut up. Say, I want to hear from dummy four or just anything like that or for example if someone's saying it's you you just put throw shade at somebody else without you know saying it's your like yourself and you know if the investigators on your side too they're gonna be like oh mainly he's probably not it but you know if the kira is smart they're gonna be like oh it's probably him he's probably l but like i said you never want to be close to anyone so you're basically good so you just have a lot of power right here and then he does have another like another thing he's able to do which is this so if everyone starts voting right for example if i'm voting let me just activate this setting real quick where i could see all the roles because i don't want to actually get kira so i'm gonna just do a dummy right here so i could choose who i want him to be locked up with so i'm gonna choose myself for this game but the reason why you don't want to vote somebody that is an investigator, this is why you don't want to throw votes around, is because if you throw votes around, it will publish their names. So if you get the wrong person and the person's actually innocent, then that's a free kill. So what's going to happen here is her name, face will be published so they can actually write it. Then I have anything suspicious. So now this game, she is going to die because the NPCs know who she is, like Kira knows who she is, right? And so this brings me to my next point. So another really good thing you could do as L to actually get evidence on, you know, who kill, uh, kills. And this is why you want to be on your camps to check like popular death areas, which is like mainly down here. Oh my God. Stop. Is because you could go and take, you know, take their notebook. So this notepad, what this is, is it's this. So when you're actually playing, you always want to mark anyone that has been close to you or could have taken your ID. So... The way you check, you know, their uh, their notepad is go to items and then select theirs. And then they will have like someone marked if they're actually like, you know, a player or, if, you know, if they're a bad player, they're probably not going to have anything marked. So they're going to have like dummy 10 marked or dummy 7 marked. And I'm going to be like, oh, it's either dummy 10 or dummy 7. And so the, like as L, that's the main way you can really catch someone or talking to these green people. So, yeah, that's basically it for L. That's a lot of his powers. He's, he has one more ability where he does the cam mission, but I haven't got that. 
So that's basically it for L. I'm going to move on to the investigator next. Okay, so basically as an investigator, you have like the least power in this game. But don't let that deter you because with the investigator, you don't have to play as careful as like every other like character. So you could kind of just play dumbly. But the main thing you want to do is, like I said, when I was playing L, this is why I went over L first, is when he has that first command thing where it's uh, vindicating evidence, you have to go to that. I can't activate it here because I'm not L. But uh, yeah, you want to go to that as quick as possible. Do it so you get cleared. So that will tell everyone that you are actually an investigator. So what you want to do a lot is interact with one or two people and then mark them down on your notebook. So example, for example, I'm going to walk to like a dummy right here. You want to do these quests. Um these arrows but i'm not doing them because i'm doing training but yeah you just want to go talk to that person you know do those missions and stuff but just to show you like an extra way to how to catch kira is always like stay near oh my fuck there's no way okay so basically uh, like i know i died basically instantly but n nobody's gonna write your name that quick so you want to do this towards the end of the match you don't want to give them enough time to write your name down so basically, uh, or if you if you know that there's already two dead people, because Kira can only kill two people max a day. So what you want to do is go near only one person a day, write their name down on that book, right? So basically, I'll have dummy two down, and if I, like, when we go into voting phase and I have my ID missing, I'm going to, like, explain it later when I go into the voting phase, then I know that it has to be that person. Or if anyone just gets close to you, for example, like how I died right there, like, sometimes they'd be like, oh, I need to monitor you, right? Or, you see, I have to monitor this this person right here. Oh, they spawned all the way down here. So, when you're a regular investigator, just try to, like, actually do the monitoring. And then just write their name instantly on the book. So, what this will do is, now I have two of these on a book. And if you have a really good L player that knows how to stay near death spots, if I do, you know, eventually bite the dust, they're going to be able to see that I have two of these guys marked. And, you know, if they were actually, like, Kira or, like, Kira's follower and I'm dead, that means it has to be one of those two because those are the only two people that have came, like, close to where I was. So, I'm going to show you guys what it, like, how would it would look if your ID was stolen. I might put it up on screen, like, now or I'm just going to, like, I'm just going to go into the uh, voting phase and just show you how it looks normally. So yeah, basically the main thing you want to do as investigators, you really don't have that much power uh, except for you know if you get the vindi uh, if you do the vindicating evidence. But um, Kira will always put like I'm gonna show you guys when I actually get to Kira. Kira puts like events up. So as investigators, you guys want to do this because if you you guys are kind of the pawns, you guys kind of have to like die. So the same thing on like how to find killer like killers. Talk to these guys if they give you any evidence and you see someone doing like staying around here it might be them so you just want to do these missions real quick and you know basically just do all your missions as an investigator and try to find kira and if there's any like thing uh things that are going up like events you want to get those cleared basically you are the mission completers you guys are actually playing the game while l and kira are kind of like trying to survive and so yeah there's not much to the investigators there there's not insane tips the best tips i could give you is always have the names down of anyone that you have encountered and it will always say that they could have stole your id so for example i'm just gonna go right here and it'll be like someone's approaching someone may have stole your id press whatever buttons here to mark their name down instantly because if they do write your name that is the like, like the oh my god that's the only person that could, have, that could have written your name down so that's basically it for investigator i'm gonna move on to kira okay i'm not gonna uh, so this is kira kira is definitely the hardest thing to play in this game because it's like very hard for Too kira much. to get any kills without being sus so the main things you want to do as kira is when you press one you want to do this the criminal a lot of people overlook this but you want to write it where nobody's looking you don't want to write it near these npcs because they'll snitch on you what you want to do is like write it like right here where no one could really see you or if you know that people are like walking away from you write names real quick these are just regular like green npcs so they can't snitch on you this will i'm gonna explain this further but you really want to do this because this will make it a lot harder for the investigators to see who you are so like this one's alive this one's alive so it means uh like some of the green npcs are dead here so i'm gonna show you guys how that looks so yeah right there dead so you just investigate it just to uh, take it off the floor so yeah there's probably a dead one there too 
And so I'm gonna I'm gonna just wait until uh, the, the next regular phase starts. And you see, this upgrades my taskbar a lot. A lot of people are like undermine this. They don't do this a lot. So right there, I just told this idea, but I'm gonna you know go more into it later on. But um, yeah, the reason why you want to do the judging on like you know the regular things is to get that taskbar up as much as possible. So basically, after like you know, after just writing um, NPC names down, you could actually write a player's name. The only way to write a player's name is if you stand close enough to them to get their ID. But this is risky because if I did this right and dummy two or you know actual player doesn't get near anyone the whole game, they know I took their ID. So the best thing to do in that situation where you like you actually stand close to them and they're not doing like a mission is write their name down. You have to write their name down. So I took. Dummy 2's ID, I need to write his name down right away. So basically, I chose, uh, I'm going to go in depth because I did that really quick. But basically, I chose uh, for him to die all the way over here. So he's going to die right here. And then I want to, I, when you're Kira, this is why you pick specific areas on when to kill people. Because you want to grab them uh, their notepad right away. Because if you grab their notepad right away and they like had you marked as like a suspect... That's it. They, you have the notepad. Nobody's ever going to see that. So that's what you really want to do. If you got their ID while they're not doing a mission, they're not distracted, kill them. Kill them as quick as possible, uh, like top right or top left. You do not want to pull out your book and write someone's name in front of her. They will see that and they will, you know. You, ne you never want to have your book out and a write someone's name right in front of somebody or like an npc because they will obviously see it they're going to be like i literally saw him with his notebook out kill him or vote him out so it's going to just show the person died right here you really don't want to like resort to this because what someone's going to do is they're going to be like oh he's trying to get my id he's trying to get my id or something like that but either or sometimes you could be like oh i'm going to monitor you and then they're like oh i'm gonna mark you on my book you i i, I will mark you on mine and then if they say that, then you're chilling because all you do is kill them. Literally just kill them. Because you don't want like them to get to this phase because they will see that their ID is missing and they're going to suss you instantly. So basically after that, um, th those are like like two beginner ways. But your main, your main like kind of money, like the main way to get cards is by doing this card commands. So you have two different ones. The best one to do to get actual points on your new world progression is this one and this is probably the best one to do to get people's cards is like this well not the best way to get people's cards i actually think it might be the other one but this is fine so what this does is a put like this is a event everyone has to do these so basically uh they have to do those top uh left two and you have to get all of them completed to uh, like you know stop you cure from getting top uh progression so what you want to do is don't be the first one to hear that's how you sell the game you want to be the last person that comes to these bodies because for example if someone's doing it look i'm gonna show you what what it looks like when you're actually doing it. you can't see anything this is when you want to take their ids so look they're going to be doing it it doesn't go this fast it goes a whole lot slower but because it's training it's doing that it goes so much slower so you see my whole screen was blocked that entire time so when the investigators are doing it come you want to be the last person to come in there because you want to take their ids stay silent don't let them know that there was somebody there and walk out the room and then once you take all like their IDs, you are really, really good. So after you take out like their IDs, and if they didn't do it, you get even more progression. So you want to, what you want to do now is just write names down, like, you know, just like criminal names to really try to get because Kira could get progression so fast. I see a lot of Kira players underestimate this ability, and it's insane. And so basically, um, after that. You could, uh, so those, those are two main ways. And then when you take their IDs, you obviously just write their name like down somewhere like, oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys. You choose where they die. So when I said you want to, uh, when you're L, you want to check the cam right here and down here and here, there's no, no cam here, but there's cams, uh, in these two bottom areas. The reason why you want to like pick out areas like this, even though I said there's a cam there is choose like i say the um hotel where this is really good because all you do is choose for them to die right here and then once they die uh you want to pick up their notepad like i show or showed earlier you want to pick out their notepad instantly so either way the person's going to die regardless 
Okay, for your final for your final ability, which is probably your most OP ability, and this is this is how I suggest every cure should play it because I just showed you like how to do everything alone. But you have a cure follower for a reason. So the way you want to play with your cure follower is have them get all the ID cards. The reason why you want them to get all the ID cards is because you don't want there to be like any like scenario where they someone could put the blame on you and be like, oh my ID is gone and um. Fawn took it, right? Because now if they vote me and they see the death notes in my hand, I'm gone. I'm literally done. Basically, um, we lost the game. So that's why you want to send your Kira follower the whole time. And then you're like, oh, then how am I going to write their names down? The way you're going to write their names down is you're actually able to pass IDs. So uh, when you press control or whatever it is on PS5, you hold this. And like when you talk in this, nobody could hear you except for your Kira follower. So you're like, oh. Get dummies, uh, dummy four, uh, get dummies four, get dummy four ID. And then he'll be like, okay, I'm like, meet me on top left on the map. Meet me at a bookstore. Meet me at this and um, pass it to me. And then they will meet up with you. And then they will, you know, pass it to you. And you get all, all the IDs and write it all down. And they're going to be like, they're going to, uh, um, okay, I'm going to just wait for a bit until next round. Okay, so basically what I was saying was you want your cure follower to, uh, you know, you want to talk in the transfer and be like, oh, come to check the map, come to backyard and give me the IDs. And then they will check what where backyard is, come over here and there's nothing here, right? They pass you all their IDs and then you start writing their names in here. The way you pa like pass items is you just go uh, press your investigation notepad and then go to here. So uh, like I could pass this to my teammate. So when you pass on um, your, you know, card, or death note if you pass your death note onto the person they become kira but the reason why you want the uh kira follower to pass you everything is because when they they're like oh everything's missing right and they will accuse your kira follower of taking their id because that's probably and that might be the only person they went uh past right but if he passed you everything all the ids then uh when they search his pockets it's gonna say that he had nothing so they're gonna be like oh either they still have sus on him right they either still have sus on him and they're like, oh, he probably passed it on. Would a good player, that's probably like the worst case scenario, but you're still good because they don't throw sus on you and you have everyone's ID. But on top of that, um, the, like you just don't get your teammate jailed because if he gets caught with one ID, he gets jailed and literally can't play anymore. And one tip I do have to say right here is when you're in voting phase, if, uh, if you vote somebody, I'm going to just ex expose all the roles so I don't accidentally vote out L. So look, I we all vote out this investigator, right? And this is why you really don't want to vote out somebody that isn't, you know, Kira or Kira's follower, is because if you vote him out, now everybody's gonna be able to see his name. And like, uh, like I didn't get his ID, right? But even though I didn't get his ID, I'm still uh just because of this, I'm able to see his name, and he's it's game over for him. I could just like write his name, and he's dead. So it says face, uh, face and name published. He didn't have anything. He's attached with me. I could just do this. I could bring him wherever I want to. So if I really wanted to, I could just do this. I could be like, come over here. Let me go to somewhere where no one could really see us. And let me just write your name right here. When they're locked up with you, they will die like right behind you. So look, he's going to die right here. And then you pick up their notepad. And uh, if they're cuffed with you, th then they're obviously going to question you, right? And then you could just be like, oh, he had somebody else. Like, for example, like a uh, regular investigator. You'd be like, oh, he had him on his notepad. That's the only person he had on his notepad. And they'd be like, oh, okay. So that's basically it for that. There's only one more tip I have to go over with Kira before I move on to Kira's follower. Is when you're talking to transceiver, do not talk on a transceiver when you're walking past these guys. Do not. Because they will say that somebody was talking to, uh, on a transceiver right here. Or they will be like, oh, somebody passed IDs right here. So you don't want to pass IDs. You don't want to talk on a transceiver when you're near the green people. So you want to do it like, for example, you want to do it like somewhere up there. So we're going to just go up here. We want to do it like somewhere here where nobody could really see us and be like, oh, pass me ID backyard and just check the map, you know, any place that there isn't any of these guys or cameras, 
that's what you want to do okay so that's basically it for cure i'm just going to show you guys here like even uh, you could get very lucky with it you don't have to kill like all the investigators all you really really have to do is uh, kill l so it's really like being lucky that's why i say when you're playing l you're playing the most important character so don't ever get close to anyone because you never want your id to be um shown to everybody so i do this to him i will be able to see his name and i'm gonna write his name down uh when we get into the player phase and i'm gonna show you how to trade everything past like the notebook and everything when your curious follower so look i have a uh, dummy 10 right here i'm gonna judge him you have to do this to write their name down and then once you kill them the game is over you've won so the last character we have to go over is Kira's follower and that's basically it okay so basically when you're playing as Kira's follower what you want to do is use the command for example like what i said with Kira, use this to you know do this mission right and then when people are actually doing it as Kira's follower follower you have to play kind of relentless you have to like be kind of like you don't have to let people know that you're Kira's follower but there's no like shame in the game it's okay if you show people that you're the follower but i would just show you guys what i mean right here so basically when they do this if they're actually doing it their whole screen is going to get blocked and so you just want to like you just want to take as many ids as possible so i'm just going to encounter as much people as possible and uh try to get as much ids so i can pass them on this uh, also i forgot to mention this when i first did the command but also pauses the time so you could do this to buy yourself some extra time so you could pass all the ids to kira so basically i have a lot of ids on me and i'm like okay i'm like i'm gonna talk to kira i don't want to talk to any of the talk towards any of the green people I'll be like yo kira uh, i'm gonna meet with you bottom left of the map and then um i start heading to the bottom left of the map i know there's an npc here but nobody usually just like stays in here so i'm gonna just give kira the name oh i actually just gave him l and that, that's basically what you want to do as kira's follower you want to pass him all your ids i got l that time so you want to pass him all your ids go keep on like trying to get people's names either if it's blatantly like going on them or be like oh i have to monitor you and then stay near them take their id right or literally any of that and uh, you just pass them all to Kira. And then when it comes to voting and they vote you and your pockets are empty, you're like, oh, I'm cleared. Or at least, like, I don't have any of the IDs. So that's basically it for all the characters. I am probably going to post, like, some games of me playing, like, like in, uh, in a couple of days. Because I usually post every other day. So if you guys like the video or if you guys want to see more of Death Note con uh, content just want to see me play the game, uh, please like and sub.